Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On this episode, let's take a look at what you can do to restore lost essential applications. So an essential application is one like iCal or Mail or Address Book or Text Edit. It's one of these applications that comes with Mac OS X and either comes on your Mac or gets installed when you install from the system disk that came with your Mac or from a Snow Leopard disk you bought separately. Of course, your first method of restoring a lost application is to look on your Time Machine backup. It should have a backup of everything on your drive, including applications. So you can go back to the original backup or one from several months ago and see if the application is there. If you haven't done a Time Machine backup, well, you should start right away. But to get a lost application, there are several other methods you could use right now. Now, of course, you should never delete these applications. You don't have to use them, but you should always keep them around since Mac OS X expects them to be there. Now, if you've accidentally deleted them, there's ways to get them back. You're going to need either the installation disk that came with your Mac, or if you've upgraded, say to Snow Leopard, you're going to need that upgrade disk. So here I've got the Mac OS X install DVD that came with my MacBook Pro that I'm showing you right now. If I click on that, I can see I can install the entire Mac OS X there, but that's not what I want to do. I'm going to go down to Optional Installs. And under Optional Installs, there's an Optional Installs package. And I click on that. And now I get to a screen here where I've given several different choices. And uh, one of those is under Applications. And I can see that there's several different applications right there that uh, you may need to reinstall if you've accidentally deleted them. Um, and other ones down here. Here's how you install QuickTime 7, for instance, which is important if you want to have QuickTime 7 Pro. You'll need that. And you can install different languages and printer drivers here as well. Now another option is to download a program called Pacifist. What Pacifist does is it looks inside of install disks and packages to find specific things to install. So after you first run it, it will prompt you to select your installation DVD. Uh, you do that and then it brings up a list of contents. And you can browse through here to find things that you want. For instance, you can look under Essential System Software and then under uh, the Essential System Software Group and Contents of Essentials. And you can find all these applications here including text edit here or stickies or something else you may need to reinstall like Preview. Um, and then you can select that one and click Install to install that specific thing. You can also do a search. So for instance, if I wanted to search for text edit, I would do it that way. And then it will come up with all the different variations here. And you can see that there's some in different language uh, packages here as well. And I could figure out quite easily that I want this one here. Now you can find these packages yourself with a little help from the terminal window. So uh, the way to get there is CD to change directory. And then instead of typing in the name of the DVD there, you can drag and drop it in there and jump right to it. And now we can take a look at what I'm doing. And if I look there, I look at the files, I can see various things including system. Look down into installation. And under installation I can go into packages. And under packages I can see a lot of the different packages there as well. Uh, the easiest way to get to these is to actually go up a level back to the installation folder and do open packages. And open of course opens up a finder window. And this finder window then shows you all the different packages. And you can install these larger packages for a lot of printer drivers and things here. But for instance you could install the essentials package which includes a lot of missing applications right there. And then when you install it if you want you can look at the log for the installer and uh, see exactly uh, what applications are put in where. Another thing you do for some of the basic applications is simply reinstall the entire system. Now there's a misconception that doing this erases your entire hard drive. It doesn't at all. You can choose that option but you can also choose the more regular option of simply replacing the OS and essential applications. So that's another option. So there's several different ways to get lost applications back onto your Mac. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.